Okay guys, I'm here today to talk about a topic that a lot of hockey YouTubers like to talk about and that's the Quebec Nordiques. So now it's my turn to tell you guys about it and what I think of their chances of coming back and how a team in Quebec City uh, would survive in today's NHL climate and also just what are the pros and cons uh, of having a team in Quebec City and the challenges that that team might face. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so as we all know, in 1995, the Quebec Nordiques moved uh, from Quebec City to Colorado, and there, it was mostly because of the Canadian dollar. It was just too much for the Nordiques to withstand, and at the end of the day, they had to move down south. And it wasn't for a lack of fan support. The fans understood it. They were upset, of course, which uh, naturally you would expect them to be, but they, they understood it, like I said. And with Quebec City, I mean, I think a few challenges that they might face is... Well, I'll tell you this much anyways, is that I was there at four and a half years ago in the summer of 2016 with my family on vacation. And I mean, Quebec City is pretty much as close to Europe as you're going to get without actually being in Europe. Um, the majority of the people speak French only there. Uh, only 40% are able to speak English in the whole Quebec City area. So that is a bit of a challenge for them just because of marketing and stuff like that. For the NHL, it would be a tough team to market outside of the province of Quebec as we all know and I think just some challenges that that team might face is bringing free agents there big name free agents I, I don't really see a scenario where a big name free agent would want to sign there um, just because of the fact that you know we if you go by past experience when the Nordiques were there originally you had players that didn't want to play for them and most notably uh, a guy like Eric Lindros who, who didn't want to play and apparently he says because of the owner but who knows about that um, maybe it was just because, you know, Quebec City is a, a pretty big culture shock, especially for a young 18-year-old guy to come in there and, and you know, in a, in, a big hockey, in a hockey market that's very passionate, I should say. And it's mainly French speaking for the most part, so it is a tough climate to adjust to if you're an Anglophone player, for sure. Another player was Ron Hextall, who was traded there in 1992. And while he didn't really complain about getting traded to the Quebec Nordiques, he did admit to being scared to death of having to move his family to Quebec City. And when you hear stuff like that, it's kind of like, well, okay, I mean, it sounds like the Nordiques might have a hard time bringing in uh, some big time players. And, and especially, you know, if you get guys who have no trade clauses even, and no offense to Quebec, but I, I think more than likely there would be a lot of guys who would have the Quebec City team on their no trade list, on their list of teams they do not want to be traded to. Um, just because I think guys, especially with families and stuff, it would be a bit of a hassle having to move your family there with your kids and stuff, having to enroll them in a school. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe Quebec City only has one English speaking school. So if that school is all sold out, your kids are going to have to learn French. And don't get me wrong, I'm not against learning languages and uh, I'm not, you know, spreading anti French rhetoric here or whatever. So. You know, don't uh, just keep your shorts on, you know, everyone in Quebec, so just don't panic. Uh, I personally would love to see the Quebec Nordiques come back, but I'm just telling you some of the challenges I think a team in Quebec City might face. Okay, so now that we spoke about some of the negatives that a team in Quebec City might face, let's now look at some of the positives that I think would really happen for a team there. So, as far as uh, financially, I think they could absolutely have a team and I know some people will disagree with that but me personally I think the numbers are there for them financially I know a few years ago Jeremy Jacobs the Boston Bruins owners and he's kind of looked at head of the owners by the way he came out and said oh they're challenged numerically they're not challenged numerically I, I mean the, the Quebec City area has 530,000 people in the city itself and then the whole metro area I think is like 800,000 so you look at a, an area like Winnipeg I think would be the most comparable market uh, in Canada or in, in the whole league that you could compare it to and Winnipeg has a population of 700,000 within the city and their metro area isn't that big it's only about maybe 780 with the whole metro area so Quebec City's area is, is about as big as Winnipeg, if not a little bit bigger. So I think absolutely they have the numbers to support a team. Their fan support would not be an issue. They would sell out every night. And Jeremy Jacobs, he's a big uh, enemy of the people in Quebec City, I would say, just because of the fact that 
you know, he's, he's kind of looked at as the guy that's holding the Nordiques out of Quebec. And, and, you know, everyone likes to blame Batman and dump on Gary Batman. But guess what? Gary Batman's just doing what the owners are telling him to do. At this point in time, they do not feel it's a good move to put a team in Quebec, I think because of the Canadian dollar. And even the whole, even before everything that's gone on here the last year with the virus and everything, making the dollar even even worse, the Canadian dollar, it never was that great even before 2020. And that's why they were always hesitant to put a, a team in Canada, a small market team, especially in Canada. But that's really all that's left if you want to venture uh, north of the border for the NHL is small market cities. If you look at it, there isn't really any other big market option for them to go to in Canada right now. Me personally, I think a team in Quebec City would be an absolutely great move. Uh, just look at the rivalries around them. I mean, you'd get the Battle of Quebec back. We all know how that, how crazy that was back in the day, even though I wasn't alive to see it at that point in time. I've heard about it. I've seen videos on it. It was pretty crazy. Those teams absolutely hated each other. I don't think we'd be getting any bench clearing brawls like we did back then, just because the league's different, thankfully, now. And not only the Habs they would be rivals with, but the, also the Ottawa Senators, even the Toronto Maple Leafs, the Boston Bruins, who are only about a six hour drive away. And all these teams, I mean, they, they would they would just, the hatred would be there naturally because they're so close geographically. And you would add another team in that Atlantic division. And for me personally, I don't really want to see Quebec City get a team through expansion just because I don't really think it's good for the alignment with the whole Atlantic division knowing they would have nine teams in them. If, if the Nordiques were to get an expansion team, so I think it makes the most sense to move the Florida Panthers. I mean, they're kind of the elephant in the room in this situation. They're a team that averages, what, 12, 13,000 fans at the most, usually, most years. I mean, a team like that in Quebec City would sell out every night. And even though the Panthers are kind of lackluster defensively and they're a frustrating team to watch at times and their goaltending always seems to fall to nothingness, I think uh, in Quebec City, that team would be supported like crazy. They have so much skill. They'd be so exciting to watch. That crowd would be roaring. Um, much to their chagrin, they probably would give up a lot of goals if they played the way they did now. But still, I think it would be very exciting for the people of Quebec City. And with all that being said, I mean, I, I think it would just be a great atmosphere too with the Habs being there and you get... You know, I don't know, maybe three, four, five thousand Hab fans in the Videotron Center when the Habs go to play up in Quebec. And, you know, you'll just get so much chanting back and forth, hopefully, not too many fights in the stands. We all know French Canadians really love their hockey, and sometimes they can get a little too overly passionate about it. But uh, not only them, I think uh, the Boston Bruins would probably have a lot of fans in Quebec City too. The Toronto Maple Leafs are just a traveling circus. They get fans at anywhere, any city they travel to. They always have, seem to have a good contingent of Leaf fans there. So as far as uh, other teams also coming in, their fan base is coming in and giving the, the city of Quebec to, even more tourist dollars. We know it's a great tourist city right now. But it would give them even more tourist dollars. I just think the whole thing's a win-win for the city of Quebec and even for the NHL. Side note, I mean, if you're an older fan, comment down below because I would like to know with the Nordiques back then, did, did their fans sell out their building well enough that even with some of their closer rivals like the Habs, the Leafs, the Bruins, even the Sens when they came about, was there any fans of, of that of those teams, like a lot of those fans in the Nordiques arena, uh, in the then Le Colise at the time, uh, on any given night, because those teams were pretty close to them. Or did, like I said, did the Nordiques sell it out well enough that there weren't that many fans, the Nordiques fans sold it out well enough that there weren't that many fans of opposing teams? I would like to know. I'm kind of a bit of a nerd that way, you know, figuring out, uh, you know, seeing how many fans are in this team's building or in that team's building it's just kind of a fun thing i like to do and i'd like to know if maybe you guys like to think of that too or figure that out because i'm a guy that's kind of nerdy that way like i said and i want to know if i'm the only one that's like that or not so please comment down below on that too and another thing i want to mention i want to kind of backtrack now on all the positivity and not that this is really a negative but it kind of could be in a way because it's all, but it's always a good thing when a team does do this. The Nordiques would have to draft extremely well 
because like I mentioned earlier, they, they would have a tough time bringing in big time free agency. So they would have to draft and develop players, find guys in the later rounds. It kind of almost have to be the Detroit Red, Red Wings of all those years. Not that the Red Wings had problems attracting big free agents, but I'm just saying in the way how well they drafted it, developed players, you know, finding guys like Zetterberg, Datsuk in those later rounds. And they would have to have a team like that in order to really succeed. But there is a negative to that in the way that if you are a good team and you're just a few, maybe like one or two good players away, uh, two, one or two good experienced players away from winning a Stanley Cup or at least making a push for a Stanley Cup, and you can't get those guys in via trade, let's say they got a no trade clause and Quebec's on it, um, or free agency, they don't want to sign with Quebec, you can't get them to come to your, to your team, to your city, then, you know, that definitely poses an issue and you got to wait longer for your young guys to come up and develop and, and or whatever until the, you get those one or two good players to help you win a Stanley Cup. So that, good, that could really go against the Quebec Nordiques or a team in Quebec City going forward to win a championship. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'd personally love to hear from, you know, former Nordiques fans. I want to hear from any hockey fans. Of course, the discussion is open for anyone. Um, on my channel uh, let me know what you guys think but especially if you are a Nordiques fan I would like to know um, if you're you know in the Quebec City area if you live there I would like to have a comment from you guys especially just to kind of know what the whole aura is the vibe around that city uh, I know they're still passionate for a team that doesn't even exist right now so can you imagine if they actually had a team there the passion just the noise in that building just such a great atmosphere and how much more money a team in Quebec City would bring in then you know let's say I don't know a team in Sunrise Florida for example the elephant in the room the Florida Panthers but that's all I have to say on this matter guys also let me know what you think about my points if that those would be some struggles for a team in Quebec City like I said um, and what what my points about the positives of a of having a team in Quebec City would those were those accurate or were was I just being delusional about the whole thing Again, let me know all that and more in the comments below. Please like and subscribe and share this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you again soon.